question like this, you need to simplify any angle that is larger than 90 degrees. So sin of 140, we know that that is in quadrant number 2, and so that's this in the 180 minus quadrant. So that's going to be the same as sin of 180 minus 40 degrees. Cos 330, well that's in the fourth quadrant, so we'll say 360 minus 30, minus cos 360 minus 40, and then multiplied by sin 180 minus 30. Now, sin is positive in this quadrant, so it just becomes sin 40. Cos is positive in that quadrant, so it's just cos 30. Cos is positive there, so it's cos 40. And sin is positive, so it's just sin 30. Now, what you should identify is that this is a compound angle. Or it's a compound, you can see there's a compound formula going on here, because we've got sin cos, cos sin, and then the angles are repeating. If we look at our formula sheet, we can see that it's a sin cos minus a cos sin. So sin cos minus a cos sin. And so this is what we have at the moment, and so we're going to rewrite it like that. So it's going to become sin of 40 minus 30, and this will give us sin of 10.